suppose uh, in a triangle we have three points in a triangle we have three points x1 y1 uh, x2 y2 and x3 y3 now they are asking you to find the area of this triangle so you know one thing the area of the triangle is half into base into height right this formula you know but there was another formula which you have learned in class 10 which you forgot for sure do you remember area of a triangle using three coordinates you, do you remember the formula huh? it was half into x1 even I am having doubts it will be uh, y uh, let me remember this one y2 minus uh -huh. y2 minus x1 1 is here so it will be y2 y3 then plus x2 in here then it will be y3 minus y1 plus x3 in here it will be y1 minus y2 okay, okay. this one was the formula 1 is in here 2 3 will be there 2 is in here 3 1 will be here 3 is in here 1 2 will be in here so this one was the formula which you have learned in class 10 now this formula it was too difficult to memorize now in class 12 what you will do is you will put half in front you will give the determinant sign and just do one thing write x1 y1 1 x2 y2 1 x3 y3 1 and that's it finding the determinant value that will give you the area of the triangle am i clear so it's so simple as that if you just write the coordinates like this and one 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 you find the determinant of this thing you get the area of the triangle now one most important thing this value determinant value can be negative also right determinant value can be negative also so when you get a negative value you have to do the mod of that thing mod means what to take the positive value because area can never be negative okay it's so simple as that now find the area of a triangle with vertices at the point given in the each of the following these are all easy let's do question number three okay so here x1 y1 is this thing x2 y2 is this thing and x3 y3 is given this now you have to find the area of the triangle so let us do that so area of the triangle is equal to what half into what it will be tell me first it will be minus 2 1 3 2 1 minus 1 minus 8 1 okay now you just have to do is find the determinant of this thing now one thing I know I want to simplify this thing so how will I simplify I know how to simplify this one so the way to simplify this one I will do an operation can I do r2 minus r1 and r3 minus r1 yes or no so let's do this operation r2 minus r1 and r3 minus 1 so we can get zeros right that's the main idea to get this operation so what I get minus 2 minus 3 and 1 so r1 will remain fixed now r2 will become what look at here 3 minus of minus 2 so 3 plus 2 is 2 minus of minus 3 1 minus 0 0 then minus 1 minus of uh, minus 2 that is no 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 it is what plus 1 yes or no yes, minus 8 minus of minus 3 so minus 8, minus 8 plus 3 is what minus 5 yes or no please tell me first yes, sir. so I get half of just write this one in here minus 2 minus 3 1 5 5 0 1 minus 5 0 so write in bracket by elementary row operations now let us expand this one let us expand along c3 so expanding along c3 so what do we get half so this one this one goes away now this is positive because it's first row third column so it's positive so I don't need to write 
So directly I will write what? 5, 5, 1, minus 5. Yes or no? Understood? So what do I get? So this one we get 5 minus 5 is minus 25. And 5 into 1 that is minus 5. So we get minus 30 by 2. Understood? But we have to do yes, what? Sir. Mod of this thing. So it will be 15 square units. Clear? Yes, sir. I cannot have negative value. Area can never be negative. Now, show that the points A, B, C are collinear. Okay. Now, if we have three collinear points, if we have three collinear points, this one here, this one in here, this one in here. Can you form a triangle with these three collinear points? No. Now, if there can be no triangle, suppose there is a triangle. Can you tell me what will be the area of the triangle? Suppose there is a triangle formed by these three collinear points. The area will be what? Zero. Because there is no triangle formed, right? Yes or no? Yes, so the area of the triangle will be zero. So in order to prove three points are collinear, what we need to do is we need to show that the area formed by the three points will be zero, right? Understood? So let's do it. For, for two, for three points, for three points to be collinear, for three points to be collinear, the area of the triangle formed by by those points must be zero okay now tell me so area is equal to zero so what is the area half into what tell me first half into a, a B plus C1 then B, B, B plus A1 then C, A plus B1 yes now let's do some operations let's do some operations what do you get so if I do the operations in my rough so what do I get is R2 imply achha, this is equal to 0 R2 implies R2 minus R1 and R3 implies R3 minus R1. Right? Understood? Okay. So it will be become what? So this one thing will become at a half to like it will go because it is equal to 0. So I get A, B plus C, 1, R3 minus R1, B minus A, that is, eh, sorry, R2 minus R1, B minus A, this minus this will become what? C plus A minus B plus C. A minus B. Yes or no? Look at here. B plus C. No, no, no. Not B plus C. C plus A. C plus A minus of B plus C. So I get what? C plus A minus B minus C. So C, C gets cancelled. So I get A minus B. Right? R2 minus R1. This one is 0. Clear? Achha, this one. Now, yes. C minus A. This one is what? R3 minus R1. C minus A. This minus this. Again, the same thing. A plus B minus B plus C. So, tell me what it will be. A plus B minus B plus C. It will be what? Yes. Hmm? A plus B minus of b plus c so a plus b minus b minus c it will be what a minus c okay and this one will be zero yeah. equal to zero okay Achha, not equal to zero we have to prove that it's equal to zero why am i writing equal to zero again and again we have to prove that it's equal to zero so let's find the value let us expand along column column what column uh, 3 so if I expand along column 3 I'm not writing that thing so if I expand along column 3 what I get I get B, B minus A, A 
a minus b c minus a a minus c right now let's multiply so this minus this into this b minus a into a minus c minus of a minus b into c minus a so that is equal to what a b minus b c minus a square plus a c minus of a c minus a square minus b c plus a b yes or no yeah. i'm just multiplying minus a c plus a square plus b c minus a b so let's cancel minus a c plus a c goes a square minus a square goes b c minus b c goes a b a b goes you get zero okay sure. hence the following points are collinear okay now let's do this question find the value of k if area of triangle is four square units and vertices are this thing now this is a very very important question so they are saying that you have to find the value of k if area of triangle is four square units so the area is given and you have to find the value of k am i clear okay now let's do it so one thing question number three so here area of the triangle is equal to four square units now listen carefully the the thing which we did in here yes in here we can we got a determinant value as minus right and we converted it into positive yes or no because it's an area yes now here here we are given an area now i will be putting it in that equation so it can be plus minus yes or no it could have happened that we got the determinant value as minus 4 and then we did the mod and we found the area as 4 right so we have to take both the cases plus minus 4 yes or no when look when you are finding area of the triangle it's 4 square units very good but when you are finding determinant of something it will be plus minus 4 right yes or no because obviously when we are finding area i reject the minus term I make it mod, I make it 15. So when we are finding some other value using the area, so I need to think of plus minus sign. Am I clear? Okay. So write down. But now, now area is equal to half into, tell me what is that? K. Huh? K. K01 K01 401 Okay so this is the area we got so that must be equal to what half of K01 401 021 Acha let's expand this one let's let's expand this one don't complicate this thing let us expand this one so we'll expand this one along what tell me Expanding along what? Um, R2. Uh, column. column 2. Expanding along C2. So what do I get? So if I expand along C2, I get 2. Right? Achha, will it be minus or plus? Think and tell me. Will it be minus or plus? This is what? Third row, second column. It will be minus 2 and then it will be K, K141. Yes or no? Yes. So 2, 2 gets cut. So I get minus of K into, that is K into 1, that is K and minus 4. So we get, we get 4 minus K. Understood? So we get 4 minus k. Now, this thing, area of a triangle, area of a triangle will be equal to what? Uh -huh. So now, 
4 minus k will be equal to what? The area is 4. So it will be equal to plus minus 4. Right? Because I told you what, area only takes positive value. But determinant can take both values, plus and minus both. Right? Yes or no? So here, I will have one equation in which it says 4 minus k is equal to 4. And we have another equation, we have 4 minus k is equal to minus 4. So let us find the values of k for both our equations and uh, let's see what you get. For the first equation the value is what? k is equal to 0. And the for second equation the value of k is equal to? k goes that side minus 4 goes this side. So it is plus is equal to 8. Clear? So this one will be homework same as this one. So do it as homework. Now let's do question number 4, 1. Let's finish this chapter. So 4, 1 is what? Find the equation of a line joining the points 1, 2 and 3, 6 using determinant. Now you have to find an equation of a line. Now when you think of a line, so a line is like this, right? And they have given two points of the line. So one point is, one point is 1, 2 and the other point is 3, 6, right? Yes or no? So these two points are given. Now obviously, whenever I used to find an equation of a line, I used to have a general point. A general point basically what? A general point does what? Achha, what is a line? A line is what? A collection of infinite points. Yes or no? So this general point signify each and every point on the line this general point signify each and every point on the line now can you see one thing these three points are what these three points lie on the same line so what are they what are they just now we learned they are collinear right yes or no and if they are collinear if they are collinear what is the area equal to what is the area of the triangle formed by these three points so write down so the equation which I will get is question number 4 right so question number 4 let there be let there be another point let there be another point x comma y on the given line on the given line okay now write down since since the three points since the three points are collinear since the three points are collinear the area formed by by them is equal to zero right so therefore half into tell me what was the area tell me fast x y1 hmm then 1 2 1 hmm then 3 so that is equal to 0 right so this will be give our equation so half into this thing half goes away now here what do we do is again the same operation we will do r2 implies r2 minus r1 and R3 implies R3 minus R1. Okay. So let's see what we get. So what do we get in here? Uh, X, Y, 1. Aha, uh -huh, we, we made a... Ah, uh, no, it's okay. So 1 minus X, 2 minus Y, 1 minus 1 is 0. Right? Now 3 minus x, 6 minus y, and 1 minus 1 is 0. So let us expand this one fast. So if I expand along column 2, what I get? 1 minus x, 6 minus y, 1 minus x into 6 minus y, minus 2 minus y, 3 minus x, equal to 0. Okay? this into this minus this into this so let us multiply fast 
so it is 6 minus y 6 minus y minus 6x plus xy then here minus of 6 minus 2x minus 3y plus xy equal to 0 so what I get uh, 6 minus y minus 6x plus xy minus 6 plus 2x plus 3y uh, minus xy equal to 0 so xy xy goes minus 6 6 goes so what do I get minus y plus 3y is 2y and minus 6x plus 2x is minus 4x equal to 0 so now divide both sides by 2 so we get for y minus 2x equal to 0 so that's my answer that's my equation of the line am I clear so this one will be homework so this question question number 2 will be homework clear so now question number 5 tell me which answer now you do question number 5 and find out fast do it now. Chalo. It's a test for you today. Do question number 5 fast and tell me the answer. What will be the answer of question number 5? Don't look from the back. Huh? Yes, yeah, solve.